Hey guys, another requested video. I'm going to satisfy your curiosity and uh, today I'm going to show you how I usually put on my swim cap because you asked me to. The problem with long hair is usually that you uh, cannot squeeze your hairdo inside the swim cap and uh, some people have their unusual, weird, extraordinary ways of uh, solving the problem, but I don't know, in my case it's something that is not a problem at all. I'm going to show you my pre-swimming routine and the way I put on the swim cap itself. Okay, first off what I do is I brush my hair. It is very unruly now because I didn't use a blow dryer or iron. So I just brush it until it is more or less manageable like this, even though you see it's kind of woo frizzy. And later on I apply one, two, three, four, five, one of five possible things. Uh, most often I apply this Stylius or Stylius, I still do not know how to pronounce it because it is a uh, Spanish brand special spray which protects your hair from bleach, from um, uh, UV rays, from um, salty water, anything like this. So, this looks like this. I cannot say that it protects like wow my hair, but still I rely on it and I want to hope that it does help to protect my hair from getting too dry, from getting too thin and uh, from split ends, of course. So I spray it sometimes on my hair and let it just dry a little bit. Or sometimes I use this Charisma Voltage spray. It's called Live-In Aqua Spray. Tame freeze and hydrate the hair, add moisture with natural finish, great for all hair types. I have used almost all of it. So yeah, it's great against uh, freezing and why I use it is because it makes my hair slick. Or I use this serum, it's from a Belarusian company which is called Belita Vitex. It's called Reviva. Too many. Ingredients, let me name some of them. Oh my god. Castor oil, pantanol, echorus columns extract, if you know what's this, I don't know. Elastin, uh, what? Arnica montana flower extract, linalool, etc. 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 Some words are too long to pronounce. It's kind of tacky, as you see. You only need a very, very small amount of it. And I spread it between my palms and apply it on my split ends to protect them from even further splitting like this I let it dry the smell is disgusting but after some time it just goes away so it's tolerable or maybe sometimes instead of this terrible serum I use Another serum, it's from Pantene and it's from Spain. Um, it's a repairing serum, uh, it's oily and I like it a lot better and the scent is amazing. It smells of uh, green apple. Or most often I apply this Kela Argan oil on my tips and on all along my hair. This is the best way when you want your hair to be sleek. After this, what I do is a ponytail. I brush my hair like this. It's oily and sleek enough, so it's quite easy to gather it in a ponytail. I use any rubber band. The smaller the band, the better. The smaller, the softer. And that's what I do. You see? So the ends of my hair remain hanging like this and this very hairdo makes me 
very easily pull on any type of swim cap. For now I'm using this Joss silicone swim cap. When I come in the shower before getting into the pool, um, I water my hair just a little bit, not actually wet but moist. The reason for this is uh, if you go to the pool with bleach, uh, very often your hair uh, condition gets worse because of bleach, because it destroys the structure of your hair. So when you get into the shower and when you get your hair under the water, your hair takes in some water and it does not take as much bleach in the water of the pool. I cannot say that it drastically changed uh, the structure of my hair, no. But I want to kind of reassure myself that it does help. Sometimes when my hair is covered in oil, it's easier to pull it on. So I put it like this and like this. The part which, I mean the wrinkles, I usually pull them down, down, down until I feel that my ears are closed and uh, the swim cap sits comfortably. After this, I take the rest of my hanging ponytail inside the cap so it feels comfortable again, so I feel alright. Again, I spread the wrinkles. Then I put on my goggles and look like this and ready to go. And of course my swimsuit. <laughs> Um, what I do after I finished my practice, very, very carefully, I start to take off my swim cap. Again, with the help of oil, uh, the taking off process goes smoothly. Sometimes I wash my hair in the shower in the pool or sometimes I go home and wash it at home, it just it depends. You should wash away any bleach particles. It is a very important procedure to wash my hair in any case at home or at the pool just because I don't want my hair to ruin at all, just because I want to grow it and make it longer and it's very important to take good care of it. So I use nourishing shampoos, I use sprays, I use head scrubs and oils and uh, masks that um, stimulate hair growth. But if you're interested, I think that I will show it in another video about my shampoos, about all other hair products. That's a different story. If you like this video, do not forget to thumbs up, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section down below. Also send me PMs and see you in my next video. Bye guys!